Hello everyone. Welcome to tfox.com. This is Arun Motori. In this Selenium automation tutorial series, I am going to explain the HTML basics for Selenium guys. So HTML basics are the prerequisites for learning Selenium. As part of the previous two sessions, I have already explained what is HTML and the basic things that we have to know to understand the HTML better as part of the previous sessions. In this session, I am going to explain the third part of the HTML basics for Selenium, that is structure of HTML. So let's get started. Before going ahead, I would like to practically demonstrate the structure of HTML, guys. So let me practically demonstrate it for you guys. So first, we need to create a file, guys. Right click on your machine, say new, select this text document option. So this text document file will be created on your machine. Right click on this and select open. Okay, open it properly. Now in this, guys, you need to write the HTML code. So to get started, we have to start writing with HTML tag and end it with slash HTML tag. Okay. So all the HTML pages will have this HTML tag as the starting tag and slash HTML as the ending tag. So if in case you are going to create any web page using this HTML code, so we need to first start with this starting tag of HTML and then end with the ending tag of the HTML guys. All the HTML documents will have the same thing. Okay, fine. So what actually this starting and ending tags of the HTML will represent. So the starting and ending tags of the HTML will represent and let's say this is a web page. Okay, let's say this is a web page. Your whatever you are seeing on the screen is a web page. In this case, in this case, the HTML tags that is starting and ending will represent entire web page entire web page will be represented like this guys okay so entire web page will be represented by the starting and ending of the html tags this is the first thing now inside the html tags we need to create some child tags okay inside this html tags okay which represents the entire web page we need to create the child tags Let's start with a child tag known as child tag known as head. And if I am starting with the head, I need to end the head tag that is slash head. Similarly, you can create another child tag, okay, inside the same HTML tags. That is slash uh, that is body slash body. So how many child tags I created inside the HTML tags guys? Two, okay? Head tags and body tags, which are at the same level. You see, you can see that head tags and body tags are at the same level, okay? Whereas HTML tags are the parent tags of these two child tags. Whereas these two child tags like sisters and brothers kind of, okay? They're at the same level, okay? Sibling kind of thing here. Head and body are the siblings, whereas HTML is the parent of these two child tags, which are inside the HTML tags. Head and body tags are inside the parent HTML tags. So now let's find out what does the head, say, head tags represent on the web page, whereas what does body tag represent on the web page. So I already mentioned that HTML tags will represent the entire web page like this, whereas, whereas HTML will represent the entire web page like this whereas the head section head tags will represent only the head section this is the head section guys okay the head tag will represent this highlighted section whereas what does what does this body tag head tag is representing this this section whereas what does this body tag will represent what does this body tags will represent which section of the page will the body tags will represent body tags will represent this part okay body part so complete part is the html tags whereas 
this part is represented by the head head tax whereas this part is represented by the body tax where the head and body are the children of the html tax hope you understood at a high level now now let's move back to the code we are writing so far we have written the html tax inside the html tax we have written the sibling head and body tax so let's go inside the head tag and write a child tag for this head tag that is inside the head tag let's create a child child tag let's take an example of title tag okay title tag title slash title okay slash title all the tags that i am mentioning here are nothing but the html tag space okay these are all html tags so html tags head is a head has its own meaning in the html language whereas title has its own meaning in the html language we use title tag for one purpose we use head tag for one purpose we use body tag for one purpose we use html tag for html tag for one purpose there are lot more of more this kind of tags this okay this like title tag there are many other tags available in the html so let's understand one after the another so inside the head section that is uh, represented by the head tags i am going to write i have written the title tags okay title tag ending title tag inside the title tag i am going to say qfox okay qfox.com okay qfox.com so this means that using this title tags i am creating the title of the web page okay using this title tag i am going to create the i am i am creating the title of the web page so let's move backward okay i will remove this i will remove this now what i will do here is first i will save this file okay before writing the title tag i am going to save this file file save as okay file save as on your desktop you need to save this file let's say you want to save this file on the desktop okay select the desktop and here save as type select as all files now here give any name that is that is first first html page okay and now give an extension html okay give an extension like dot html this is the file name first html page is a file name okay you can even remove the spaces if you want okay you can keep the spaces or remove the spaces up to you this is a file name and uh, that is the text before the dot here is nothing but the file name whereas the text after the dot is the extension all the html files okay are represented with an extension like html extension html files are represented using dot html extension so i did that and make sure that the save as type is all files now save it okay now save it now go to your desktop to see that this particular file got saved guys okay first html page file got saved and you, you may see a different icon here okay it may not be chrome for you it may be a different browser icon for you or it may be anything okay but this got saved so let's open this html page how to open it right click select open with and select any browser okay i i will prefer google chrome so let me select google chrome observe that the first html page got loaded simple guys right click on this select open with and select google chrome that's it okay it will open the page you see that this is the title of the page guys okay since we have not given any title so far since we have not given any title so far it is displaying the title as a file name that is first html page dot html which i have given just now okay so if i am not giving the title it will by default show you the file name as a title here what if i want to change this okay let's close this now you can also close this also okay now what i will do here is from now onwards i will edit this file directly okay instead of editing this uh, text document i will directly edit the saved file so i will right click on this file and select edit with notepad plus plus okay if you don't have this software notepad plus plus you can install from the web guys okay it's available on the web just google search for this 
Notepad++ on your machine, and uh, you'll get a link to download this Notepad++. Just install that with, with the basic steps. Okay, it is very basic installation. You can simply install that in your machine if you don't have this. So it's a better editor, guys. Instead of going with a normal text editor, we can actually edit this HTML files in the Notepad++. That will be very good. Okay, you can see that now. After I open this uh, file in the Notepad++ like this, okay, you can see how it is different from the normal text editor. So I right click on this file and I'm going to select edit with Notepad++. I selected it. Observe that Notepad++ got displayed here. Okay, so this is the file. First HTML page dot HTML got opened in my Notepad++. Okay, so you can see the difference, right? You see something got highlighted here. The code got highlighted here. HTML tags and you can expand, collapse. This thing is not available. This kind of features are not available in the normal text file whereas uh, you can you can actually find it in the notepad plus plus version so html tags are the parent tags inside the html tags we have two tags that is head head tags and body tags you can expand the head tag head tag will have the start head tag and end head tag and body tag will have the start head tag the start, uh, start body tag and end body tag now inside the head tag let me write a title tag okay so till now i didn't uh, write the title tag i just showed you if I don't specify the title, what is going to happen on the web page, guys? It's showing me the title of this, it's showing me the file name of this HTML page as a title. What if I want to give a proper title? I have to give the title tags like this. And inside the title tags, I'll give, let's say, qafox.com. Now let me save it. Okay, let me save it. I saved it. I saved it. Now let's go to desktop. This, this got updated now, right? I edited it in the notepad plus plus and this particular file got updated now right click on this and select open with google chrome now you see what is the title of this page guys what is the title of this page the title of the page is qfox.com so we are able to update the title of the page using the title tag and the title tag is inside the which tags guys head tags so head tag will represent the head section of the page okay this red color section is nothing but head section so which uh, where title is also part of this head section. So if you have to update the title, you need to provide the title tags inside which section, head section or body section. You have to provide it inside the head section because title belongs to the head section of the page. That's why I provided the title tags inside the head section of the page here, right? Inside the head section only I provided the title. I cannot provide this title tag inside the body section. Okay, that's not correct because title, title title belongs to the head section of the page and we have to provide the title tags inside the head section only to update that now so far so good now let's move to the body section okay now let's move to, move to the body section now before i write anything here if you can see the web page there is nothing displayed on the body section right Every, the page is blank right the page is blank now i want to display now i want to display some headings here okay on this blank page i want to display some headings okay headings of different sizes let's say so for that, I'll, I will uh, open this Notepad++ and uh, I will give some tags in HTML, that is H1. H1 stands for heading one, that is uh, nothing but the highest size heading in the HTML. So H1 is for highest size of heading, whereas if I give H2, the second, second size, second highest size of heading in the HTML. Like that I can give H3. Till H4, uh, H6, I can give us. Uh, I will explain about these headings in the future, future sessions. In the upcoming sessions, I will explain these uh, headings. Okay. For now, let's not go too deep. Let's create three sizes of headings. That is H1, H2, H3 tags. Inside the H1 tag, okay, I will give something. QFox software testing tutorials okay tutorials after testing tutorials here by arun motori okay i'll give my name as another size and uh, here i'll give i'll give another thing that is both video and text tutorial tutorials okay i'll i'm give some, some text random text Okay, like this. Okay, just to make it uh, look good. Fine. Now let me save it. I have given three types of headings here: 
h1 represents the highest size of the heading this text should be displayed in the highest size header is followed by the next size of heading this text should be displayed in the next size heading and this this text should be displayed in the next uh, next size heading that is third third uh, biggest size heading like that we have six sizes guys six heading sizes in html and uh, i saved it so i will do the same thing again i'll right click on this file open with google chrome okay this is the latest one you see the title is there as it is now in the body section in the body section of the page you can see that different sizes of headings got displayed this is a heading one the software testing tutorials this is the second size heading that is by arun motori and the third size heading that is both video and text tutorials got displayed here so like this guys whatever the things that you want to display on the web page okay body section of the web page need to be written inside the body tags okay if you want to update some title you need to provide the title like inside the head tag head tags whereas if you want to display something on the body section of the body section of the page you need to provide such tags inside which tags is body tags okay so inside the body tags we have to provide body section we have to provide so like this guys this is a high level structure guys okay so i am not going to explain each and every tag here as part of this session but for making you understand the structure of the html like what is the parent uh, tags in html and what are their immediate ch child tags like head and body then inside the head there can be tags and inside the body there can be tags this is a structure guys okay this is a structure of the html okay so this is a, we are done with the practical demonstration of the structure of html guys hope you understood it now let's move back to the presentation so i have practically demonstrated the structure of the html using a proper html code now right now let's see the structure of html in this image guys now you will be able to correlate after the practical demonstration in the previous slide now you will be able to correlate the structure of html for yourself that is the red section here is the html tags you can see these are the parent html tags right every html document will start with the html tag and end with the slash html tag and inside the html tags will be having two sections that is head section and body section head section will be represented by the head tags whereas body section will be represented by starting and ending body tags so if you want to update anything inside the head section you have to provide the tags inside the head section of the tags for example title tag is one of the tag where you can update the title in the head section of the page right so in the body section you can display if you want to display anything on the html page okay body section of the html page like uh, we displayed the heading tags as part of the practical demonstration similarly you can add other tags also like uh, b means b stands for bold here if you want to display some text in bold on the body section of the page you can actually put this b tags okay i'll be explaining more examples for this uh, html tags different type of html tags in the upcoming in the upcoming sessions okay so till then just understand the structure of the html let's so that's it guys that's it guys uh, here concludes this current session i will be explaining more topics on html for selenium html which is required for learning selenium in the next video session so thank you guys see you in the next session bye